wearable exoskeletons are now reality, which feels very cool in cyberpunk, but are they actually any good? I got this Dinsys X1 and decided to find out. I am now holding the product. Do I look cool? Well, I just broke something. I feel really silly because there's people walking around and staring at me and I look like a fucking idiot. It's the pushing motion. Can you, is it? I don't know. There's a huge swarm of bees right there. So trail that way is impassable. This just launched on Kickstarter and I have a full written review over on hackster.io that goes into more depth. I'll put a link to that in the description. This video is less a full-fledged review and more quick overview showcasing how the Densys X1 works, along with some of my impressions. Let's start with my clumsy attempt to figure this thing out. It is a beautiful and windy day here in Phoenix, and I am in this park to test the weird Densys X1 powered exoskeleton walking assistance thing. Uh, now, I haven't used this at all yet, so this is this will be entirely my first impressions. All I've done is charge the batteries so I have any, I don't even know how to put this thing on yet. So you'll be seeing all of that. So let's get started. This is the quick guide that'll hopefully tell me how to do everything. And then we'll see if it's weird to walk around with this thing or not. So step one, I'm supposed to hold the product. All right, I am now holding the product. It doesn't really say so, but I think I'm supposed to unfold the, unfold the leg things. All right. I uh, guess I should take off this packaging. It says to adjust the telescopic link. Push the unlock button. Okay, I guess that's this. Okay, so I guess that's to adjust size. Not a whole lot of variation. Oh, I think you can also adjust size with this, okay. Tighten and stick the vel by Velcro. So I guess this is this is the back, I think, and this is the front. Okay. Doesn't really say where on your waist to put this. So I guess I don't know something like that, and then I guess these will go on my legs. Um, I'm a size 34 waist, and this fits fine. I think this is supposed to, okay. Okay, so that feels kind of tight. And then there's like a knob right here to tighten it more. Do I look cool? I feel like I look pretty, uh, pretty lame. Connect the battery, connect the battery plug. This, I think plugs into the back here. Seems like you should have done this before putting it on. I think that's in. Hopefully that's in. Okay, now I got a cord coming over here. Okay, now it says to insert the battery, I think into these side things. I think I'm supposed to somehow put the battery here, I guess. It's not clear how I do that. And also the, the battery in the picture doesn't look like this battery at all. They look completely different. Um, kind of feel like I should have done this before putting this on, but. Oh. Huh. Well, I just broke something. <laughs> so that's not the best sign. <laughs> I was trying to take this cover thing off, which seemed like maybe that was where the battery would go, according to that. And then the plastic on the cover just immediately broke. Okay. I feel like I have to take this back off to figure out where the batteries go. It kind of seems like this should clip on somewhere. Oh, okay. I think maybe it clips onto the front and then this plugs into here. It's cool that I already broke this. I, that's that's fun. Seems like that should be a little little bit more durable, but who am I to say? Guess I need to be wearing skinnier jeans. 
All right, so now we got, I think this cable goes to this battery, plugs in like that, and then this, I guess, clips on here. So now I got, now I got a battery pack on there. I think I am now ready to turn it on. After that, I spent a good 20 minutes just figuring out how to turn the Densys X1 on and put it into assist mode. To be fair to them, this is a pre-production unit and the instructions will probably be clearer for the public release, but the process was still remarkably unintuitive. Just putting some labels on the dang plastic would have helped a lot. After you figure it out, it isn't that difficult, though I think there are half a dozen ways they could have made this much more user friendly. After I learned how to turn it on, I was ready to start my testing. I mean, at least I could feel it it working now. It's doing something. Like I could feel the motors moving. I'm not sure that not sure that they're really I don't know how much that actually helps. Okay, I think this is the highest setting. I don't know if it's helping or not though is the problem. I mean, maybe. It's hard to say, could be. All right, let's figure out workout mode. <laughs> let's figure out workout mode and then, uh, then we'll call it a day. And then I'll, I need to take this on an actual hike. Luckily there are plenty of mountains near here that I can go and do some hiking and I will go up a mountain for you guys to see if it helps for that. But first let's see if we can get workout mode working. And if the camera dies, then we'll just skip right to that. The camera battery did, in fact, die a couple of minutes after that. So I lost all of the footage of my quest to decipher the workout mode. In retrospect, it's pretty simple. The workout mode uses the motors to resist movement, thereby making a walk or jog more difficult. I don't think anybody should buy the Densys X1 for that capability because there are much cheaper ways to create the same effect that don't require any batteries, but the hardware was already there for the assist mode, so I guess it made sense to add the workout mode. As enlightening as my experience in the park was, I didn't feel like it was really giving me a good sense of things, so I went to a hiking trail just outside the city. My plan was to hike for a while, carrying the exoskeleton but not wearing it, until I started to feel a bit of fatigue. I would then put on the Densys X1 and continue hiking. That seemed like a logical way to determine if the exoskeleton was really helping. If it was, then I assumed I would feel some relief after putting it on. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a huge swarm of bees right there. So the trail that way is impassable because I'm not gonna get stung by 400 bees. The trail that way is impassable because of the bees. And this trail doesn't really have as much elevation change as I thought it would. I thought there would be some that would be going up this mountain, but apparently the trail kind of just goes around the mountain. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this thing on and see if it makes a difference for, for this. Uh, on this, I mean, there's not a ton of climbing, but at least a little bit. We'll see if it feels like it's doing something. I didn't think about this earlier, but... I might have should have worn pants because this is just going to be directly on my skin. Okay. Powered on. Assist mode. It did start a thing. And then we'll turn it up to max, max assistance. And then we'll keep hiking kind of back around with this on and I'll see if it feels like it's doing anything. The bees and my misjudgment of the trail may have thrown a wrench in my original plan, but I did still feel like I was able to get a sense of the Densys X1's capability. It was fairly comfortable to wear and generally seemed to sync up well with my movement, but I still wasn't very impressed. Even at the highest power setting, it didn't feel like it was helping me that much. It did provide some noticeable assistance, but not enough to be worthwhile. It wasn't as though it was doing all the walking for me and completely eliminating any effort on my part. I was still exerting myself and the Densys X1 was simply providing a bit of a boost. If I had to throw a number out, I would say it reduced my effort by 10 to 20 percent. To cap things off, I did a short run up a hill. To my relief, the exoskeleton seemed to understand what I was doing and acted accordingly. 
It still didn't provide a huge boost, but it at least felt pretty natural. My opinion after testing is that this is cool technology and I'm happy it exists, but I don't think it provides a practical benefit for most people. At least not enough of a benefit to warrant charging the thing and lugging it around, much less the cost. I doubt I'll bother using the Densys X1 when I go hiking in the future. It also seems worth noting that this will attract attention from others. I think people are curious more than anything else, but you'll definitely have eyes on you while you wear this exoskeleton. All of that said, there may be some people who would appreciate this more than I did. People with disabilities or mobility issues may see a more pronounced benefit. However, I can't speak on their behalf and I don't feel confident speculating on the matter. But what do you think? Is this the future or is it a gimmick? Are you planning on backing the Kickstarter campaign? Let us know in the comments and thanks for watching.